Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Klaus and thanks for checking out my channel. Today's a uh, kind of like a war prep day. We've got a new clan. We're going up against a level 4 clan. We're only a level 1 clan. The Knights of Zion have had pretty bad luck lately, but we almost won that last war. We were only one star away and one of our guys didn't attack the lower level base and we missed out on three stars. We could have won that attack, that, that war so easily, but we didn't. And uh, it was very disappointing, but I mean, you know, when you're depending on other people, sometimes it didn't work out. But he, disrespectfully, man, I mean, he just left the clan. He didn't even say, um, he didn't apologize. He didn't say, he just left. So guys, don't do that. Be respectful if you're going to be in wars. Um, but let's go on to this war now. I'm number four in the clan. We got a new member, Silverback. Kind of like a Rush Town Hall 10, but, you know, still Town Hall 10. Um, my, my matchup is number four, Iron Ninja. Let's look at his base here. And it looks like we have a interesting base. Not not 100% what I would have chosen, but you know, not not too bad. Um, but let me fill y'all in in a little secret. Don't tell anybody. Papa Wood infiltrated their clan. He took snapshots of all of their war bases. Check it out. See that? This is a snapshot. <laughs> this is a snapshot of their base. It has giant bombs and Tazlas. Everything. <laughs> Here's a rule for all of y'all, okay? If you're gonna be in war, do not do not have an open clan. And if you're gonna have an open clan, don't war. One or the other. Because it's so easy to send a member and infiltrate their clan, look at their war, and, and I don't know if it's illegal or if I should feel bad, but look at this. Look at the advantage that I've got because of this. Check this out. I hope he changes his, his base. I hope he saw, ooh, Papa Wood showed up and left. I hope that means that we need to change our base around. But if he doesn't, hey, that's just not wise. It's just not a wise thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to give you guys the battle plan. I'm going to give you all the battle plan on how I'm going to attack this base oops and um what i want to do is first i want to I, I kind of want to uh zoom in a little bit and i'm having to do i'm using two programs at once i've got it on photoshop and i put it in front of my uh recording software and the recording software records the window that uh clashes in blue stacks and if you put something in front of it, it shows up in the picture. So right now, I've got Photoshop on top of my recording program, which is pretty cool. But anyway, let's uh, let's zoom in first. I want to zoom in just a little so that we can have a more... That's too far. That is too far. Um, I can't control how far it zooms in. I don't know how to use this program all that well. But what we're going to do is we're going to mark the... Let's mark the um, air defense and the air sweeper first because what i wanted to do originally was i wanted to have a dragon attack and you know that the most important thing any time just never forget okay for all of you new players town hall sevens the air defense is your main enemy besides maybe your clan castle and you need to kill them as fast as humanly possible so here's how I would do a dragon attack. First of all, I would throw down an earthquake spell on this one since I'm a Town Hall 8 and I have my dark spell factory upgraded to level 2. I would use an earthquake spell on this on this sucker here and then two lightning spells. Boom. This light this um this one in the middle, this air defense in the middle is gone and I've got two air defenses on the outside. Putting air defenses on the exterior is never a good idea. Never because all you got to do is drop down Two or three dragons on the outside, and they'll get in there, I promise you. So, that that's what you want to do. A lot of people, they'll blow up the air defense, and then they'll launch their dragons over here on this side. You don't want to do that, guys. Don't, don't, don't start out on the wrong side. Start on the side with your air defense, because if you start on this side, they're going to make their way this way, and these guys are going to start killing them, and they've got more time. They've got more time to, um, to destroy you. I don't know how to step backwards. Control, Alt, Control, Z. Oh, sweet. And, but what you do is you release your dragons down here, try to funnel them in, and take out the air defenses quicker. 
That way, they don't have as much time to, to inflict damage on your dragons. Now, that's how I would do it if I was going to do dragons. The problem with dragons is this air sweeper right here. This air sweeper is going to cover this whole area here, and it's going to stop every dragon attack. It's going to destroy the, the very idea of doing a dragon attack, in my opinion. Now, I, what I could do is bomb the air sweeper, but then this air defense would kill us. So I'm not going to use dragon attacks. I am going to use hogs. We're going to use hogs and we're going to path our hogs. The best way to do this is to map out the defenses versus the regular trash buildings. So let's do that. Let's mark our other defenses with yellow. I like yellow. Oops. And that way it gives you guys an idea of what we're dealing with color coded. All the defenses, archer towers, wizard towers, teslas, um, mortars, cannons, everything is considered a defense. And as you may or may not know, all hogs will go straight towards defenses first and foremost. And that's awesome, just like a loon, because then you can just... miss this one. Then you can predict where they're going to go. This is called hog pathing. You need to be decent at hog pathing, or at least know sort of what you're doing to be able to predict where they're going. Now I'm going to mark all the trash buildings in white. And really quickly, you're going to notice a trend in where these quote unquote trash buildings are. And I'm not going to do the ones on the outside. All of those would be white on the outside, but all the trash buildings on the inside are also let's mark our giant bombs in red because we do not want our hogs to get near giant bombs or other traps. So we're going to mark other traps in red, giant bomb in red. We don't want our hogs to go anywhere near the giant bombs. Sometimes it's unavoidable. Sometimes it is avoidable. And that's what we're trying to do. So let's look at uh, one more thing. Let's, well, okay, we've, we've color coded everything. Cool. So do you see it? Do you see a trend here? Yes, you do. You see that the, there's a white chasm in the middle of our base right here in the center. Now I'm going to start marking in black so that I can tell y'all and show y'all what I'm talking about here. Let's talk about first where we'd release our hogs. Now look at this and tell me if there's any entry points. On the top? Yes, yes, on the top. Good. There's two entry points, and the reason why you know this is because if you follow the path of the hogs, follow, you basically connect the yellow dots, you're going to see that they eventually connect. See that? Now we've connected all the yellow dots and blue dots together. And as you can see, if you do connect them, they really don't connect up here. If they did, they would cross over this big space. We, need, we don't want that. What we want to do is we want to take out all the defenses as fast as possible. And to do that, we want to release the hogs in a fashion to where they'll work together in the end. That's, that's kind of how I try to do it. Um, what you could do also is you could release all the hogs in one big group. But in my opinion, you're better off splitting up your hogs in case you do run into a giant bomb and lose your army. At least you lose half your army and not the full army. Notice up here, we crossed over a giant bomb, but this is a wizard tower. So you would probably heal this area regardless. Also, there's two giant bombs down here. This is a wizard tower, so you would probably uh, heal spell that spot also. Um, hogs can survive in a giant bomb, in a heal, they can survive anything in a, in a heal except for giant bombs. So if you drop your heal spell here, hopefully they aggro and explode one giant bomb, they're in the heal, they heal up, and another one goes off once they move, they're fine, no big deal. So that's the plan, guys. That After looking at it for a while, I, I kind of decided that I think the best plan would be to, oh, there's a, there's a, look at that. There's a spring trap that kind of snuck in, man. We didn't even see it, it's right there. That's probably going to be a problem, but I mean, there's really nothing we can do about it. This side, we're, what we'll do is we'll put our hogs evenly, two fingers, boom, drop them down, and then put our clan castle hogs on this side also. That way, whenever they, you know, if they blow up from the from the bombs or if they get sent up in the outer space with the spring trap, at least we've got a little more powerful side on this side. 
We'll release them both. They'll track around, they'll end up in the middle, and then they'll work together, take out the town hall, and then work their way out. Now, it's always smart to have some cleanup, so I'm thinking about um, whatever works the quickest for cleanup. And I, I love using uh, Valkyries for cleanup, minions for cleanup. I love using just archers or wizards. I don't know what I'll pick yet, but hogs are clearly a really good cleanup crew because they don't have to deal with walls at all. So we'll probably let the hogs take care of everything inside the walls and then release a few wizards or archers or something on the outside. But that's the war plan, guys. I don't want to bore y'all too long and talk too long because the next video will hopefully, unless we get another idea for another one before that, the next idea will hopefully be us putting this attack in motion. But like I like I said before, I hope this guy changes his base. I hope they, they get suspicious and go, I wonder what he was doing. I wonder what Papa Wood was doing here. And then realize, oh man, we've been we've been reconned. And they go in and they change their bases up. That way it gives me a more of a challenge because knowing exactly where everything is really kind of takes the fun out of it. But at the same time, I'm not gonna deny three stars. That's just that's just the way it is. This is a town hall or, I mean a level six barbarian king. He might give us some trouble over here too. So obviously this is the is the you know the more dire side, guys. This is the dire side. We got a giant bomb, we got spring traps everywhere, and a king. You know what I'm saying? And uh boom. See, isn't that cool? I love Photoshop. That's the battle plan, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will be posting the attack and how it worked out immediately as soon as I can probably tomorrow and uh, or the next day or I'll do it right after this I don't know we'll just have to see but you guys thank y'all for watching and um, if you have any ideas let me know in the comments below love all of y'all peace